What's going on YouTube? Super Insane 18 here coming at you with the next episode of our Omega Ruby Insane Lock. As you saw from that grinding montage, it is a little painful to get these two uh, leveled up um, on par with the team. So I'm making a somewhat bad decision and I'm just going to use the trainers in the gym uh, to level up Breakout and Gypsy here. So let's go ahead and throw Theodore up front just because he is the strongest member of our party. Um, and remember, we can still use him for the trainers in the gym, just not the leader itself. So let's go ahead and fight this first trainer. And hopefully this will give us some better experience because we have the EXP share on. <laughs> okay, so opponent starting off with a Licky Licky. This should give us some decent experience. Hopefully it doesn't have like explosion or anything just yet. Uh, let's go ahead and Fury Swipes. We are very high above it, so I'm hoping that we really don't struggle too much with this gym leader. Come on, one more. Ah, only four. Okay. It doesn't do a lot. It, I mean, it burns us, but like... I still don't understand why some of these Pokemon are getting the moves that they're getting. It makes me fear that we're just going to get hit with, like, a random one-hit KO. Okay, so 540, that's pretty good experience. Okay, so Gypsy gets up to 15. Yes, we will teach you Double Slap because your move pool is currently pathetic. Uh, let's get rid of Pound. And let's see if we have any, like, full heals or something, or if we just have to run back to the Pokemon Center. Okay. Interesting. Um, we don't. Let's go ahead and just heal Theodore of his burn. But... We're going to try to take on the gym leader today. I'm not going to make any promises yet just because of how underleveled both Breakout and Gypsy are. I don't think I can rely on Lizzie and Kermit to handle the leader. Remember, he is going to have six Pokemon, um, and we did use only two in the first gym. But I don't want to take those chances, if I'm being honest. So, we might not take him on until the next episode. It really just depends. Might is right. Come on. Secret base trainer Hideki. Okay. Um, Venomat shouldn't give too much experience. If you guys remember from the first grinding montage we did, the Venomoths were giving laughable experience at best. Granted, they were a much lower level. I still don't expect much from this. Okay, so yeah, that didn't do too much. Let's uh, lay on, or lay. Let's stand on the switch. So we want to go up and around this way. Okay, let's fight her first, and then we'll look at that. There's no need for Broly to be involved. I'll crush you. Hopefully, you don't. <laughs> yeah, Torterra is pretty uh, pretty scary. Not gonna lie. It's guaranteed to have two stabs as well, so it's a little threatening. Uh, let's go ahead and just Fury Swipes it, though. We are much higher level. Okay, not a problem. Theodore is just a powerhouse. I almost want to spend a token <laughs> just to bring him. That was really good experience. That was really good experience. Um, do we want to give it revenge? Um, I mean, it's better than Mud Slap. Or is it better? Should we get rid of Faint Attack? No, Faint Attack never misses. Um, let's get rid of Mud Slap for it. We've got Ground in our OMG. Granted, we can't use him, but it is what it is. 
Uh, sending out a Flabebe, we will switch because we have some poison. This shouldn't do much, it's just a poison sting, but again, we are much higher level, so... Okay, perfect. Oh, we crit, okay. Um, I think the crit actually mattered. I don't think it would have killed. Granted, we aren't really scared of a full baby, but that gives us laughable experience. And I think all that's left is Broly. Um, so yeah, we want to go all the way over, down, up, and around. So all the way over, down, up, and around. Okay, and that gets us to Broly. Um, so, let's go heal at the very least before we decide whether or not we are taking this on. Um, I thought there would be more trainers. I know that there are a lot more trainers in the original Ruby and Sapphire. I don't think we're ready, honestly. Um, and I don't know if it's worth doing another grinding or if it's worth spending a token... Um, let's do this. I'm going to regret this, but I feel like I need to. Let's, oh, if this bites me in the butt, I'm going to regret everything. Let's go ahead and get rid of one of our tokens, and let's bring Theodore back into battle. Uh, I feel like this is going to be a very bad move, but I, given our team, I just I feel like we don't have enough, and we don't have the means of really training enough right now. Um, so first things first, let's make sure, okay, Theodore is in the front. So we are going to use Theodore. Let's save here before we do anything we regret. <sighs> And let's go ahead and take on Brawly. I'm Brawly, Duford's gym leader. I've been churned in the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough using the cave at the outskirts of this town as my training ground, as well as using the equipment in this gym. So, you want to challenge me? Not really. <laughs> Let me see what you're made of. Ah, uh, this is... This is not going to be a good time. You are challenged by Leader Brawly. Sends out a Vullaby. Okay. Um, pretty high defense. What are his levels? That's the most important thing, is what are the levels of Brawly? 15. Okay. So, we're fairly high leveled. I think we should be okay. I feel like I remember his ace being like 20, and since I raised the difficulty by 10%. Okay, I forgot to deposit Groudon. Um, if Groudon gets thrown out by this thing, I'm going to say we have to immediately switch it out and just take whatever damage on whatever we switch in. Uh, it's going to be a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um... That kind of sucks. That forces us to use Breakout. Um, moves that force a switch are definitely something that I didn't think about when I made the rules for this lock. Um, moving forward, what I think I'm going to do is if a move forces a switch, I'm not going to count it as me using that Pokemon unless I actually use an attacking move or any move. If I just immediately switch it out, it will not count as me using it. Because I didn't intend to use it. Um, it's something that just kind of happened, like what you see here. Um, so like right now, I'm going to use Gypsy because I want to get her the experience, honestly. Um, so we're going to use her. But had I just switched her out instead of clicking a move, then she would have been okay. That honestly wasn't even that great of experience, if I'm being honest. 
It did get us some levels, though, which is the important part. About to send in a Corsola. Uh, we are going to switch. Um, let's go ahead and... Do I want to use Lizzie? Like, it's super... Because we have a really big rival battle coming up, and we don't have enough encounters to get a whole new team. And we've already used three of our six Pokemon. Um, let's just go into Theodore. Theodore should be okay. Okay, so it went up to 17, so that makes me a little bit scared that he's just going to have ridiculous levels in the back. That does nothing. <laughs> um, come on, hit more than... Hit, hit all five times. Hit all five times for me. Ah. Okay, a uh, Corsola with Volt Switch. I don't think it gets that normally, but... Let's see what he sends out. Okay, so he sends out a Dwebble. Dwebble goes back down to 16. Um... It's not very effective, but I still think it's our strongest move. Uh... Okay, that didn't do as much as I was afraid it would. Um, we can just Fairy Swipes again. Does a lot better damage than I thought, honestly. Come on, hit five times. That's all I want from you. Okay, next we hit. We have to heal now. If we don't heal, we're just stupid. Uh, we don't want to lose another token. I had to spend one to bring you here, Theodore. No, no, no. We can't throw Pokeballs. Okay. Okay, so... Whew. It is a good thing we decided to heal. We might have to heal again, though. In fact, I think we definitely need to heal again. Okay. Getting some experience. Theodore going back, or going up to level 24. He's going to send the Corsola back out. I think we stay in and just heal. I'm not afraid of the damage that Corsola will do. I don't think it will do damage. So we can probably spend a turn or two healing. Ugh, that was disgusting. We might need to send in Lizzie. Let's heal one more and hope it doesn't use Rock Wrecker again. That's almost worse. Ugh, okay, um... Man... Is it going to be a Corsola that ends our lock? Okay, so it has to recharge this turn. We have to use Lizzie. There's no other way that we survive this. We don't have enough heal. Our Razor Leaf should be four times effective. It's a safe switch in because of the recharge. Okay. <sighs> yeah, we're in trouble. We have one more usable Pokemon. <laughs> That's assuming that we don't use it. Um, it's going to go into Surviper. Uh, I need to switch, but like... I wish I could use OMG. Let's go into Breakout. Scout what level the Surviper is. And honestly, we might need to sacrifice something to heal Theodore. Um, let's heal Theodore. We need to get him back up and ready to go. Cross Poison shouldn't do that much. Okay. Let's use one more potion on Theodore. Maybe more? Okay, he's setting up spikes. We need to start fighting him. Okay, let's do... Is it rock that isn't very effective? I know ground is super effective. Let's see what SmackDown does. Yeah. 
Okay, that does kind of bad damage. But I feel like we don't really have a choice. He's got three layers of spike, so I really don't want to switch back out. It has milk drink? What? Where? Where is the snake getting milk from? Can somebody please tell me where the snake is getting milk from? That's going to be super obnoxious. Okay, one more and then we'll probably have to use a potion. Or he's just going to milk drink again. Okay. Fury Cutter should be not very effective, but it does more damage the more turns I use it. And we flinch. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, this is something else. We were not prepared for this. I'm going to heal one more time using my last potion on Breakout. And then we got to just start clicking Fury Cutter. Okay, well, I'm just going to let him die. We we have to. It's not worth switching and taking the rock or the spikes damage and then also getting hit by something. Why? Why is it like this? That's probably going to kill. We didn't flinch, so we do get this off. We are down to five tokens. We are two badges in. <sighs> this lock is impossible. <laughs> this lock is absolutely impossible. We took so much damage. Come on, just kill it. Kill it with this Fury Swipe. Okay. Um, do we switch anything in for Larvesta? I think we just leave Theodore in. Um, how many more Pokemon does he have? He only has two. Let's Fury Swipe this Larvesta. Okay. Just Oko it. Hit enough times to Oko. Okay. <sighs> and Butterfree. Um, let's not switch. He's got three layers of spikes. Can we just Oko this thing like we did the Larvesta? Okay, we should be able to. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, there you guys have it. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. It was definitely, uh, definitely put a damper on our team, though. Let's go ahead and add a star back to, uh, Theodore. And let's give one to Gypsy and Lizzie as well. Um, so, Kermet is the only usable Pokemon we have left for important battles. And that is just horrifying. Um, one of the hardest battles, well, I mean, it, it might not be as hard now because it's randomized, but the rival battle on the route to Mavile is coming up, and that is going to be horrifying. <laughs> Whoa, wow, you made a much bigger splash than I expected. <sighs> okay, you got me. Take this gym badge. It only cost us two tokens. <laughs> the knuckle badge makes all pokemon up to level 30 even those you get in trades obey without question hmm you know what i think you can make full use of this too i'm sure it will help your pokemon bulk up muscle bulk up temporary enhances the pokemon's muscle power the move boosts both attack and defense stats of the pokemon i can see your talent becoming a giant wave that causes a storm of astonishment with trainers one day I look forward to the day when I can surf your giant wave. 
By the way, have you been to Granite Cave? It's located to the north of this town. It's full of fascinating stuff like rare stones and wall paintings thousands of years old. My friend Steven rushed to the cave after I told him about it. <sighs> Let's go put Breakout in the rib zone. After spending like 10 Pokeballs to catch him last episode. Oh, wrong Pokemon. Breakout is here. And I guess we will put Kai on our team. Just so that we have another usable Pokemon. It'll passively gain experience in the back there. Let's heal the rest. And we will go talk to Steven. And that will probably be the end of the episode. Um, I did look it up. We can get an encounter here in Duford by Fishing. Um, so let's actually try that first. Let's sit here and try to get another encounter. We desperately, desperately need it. Instead, with an old rod, it was like a 70% chance to get a Magikarp and a 30% chance to get a Tentacle. But it's looking like it's a 0% chance to get anything. Huh. <sighs> Oh. Are you kidding me? I immediately pressed the button. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. <sighs> really? A plusle? And it's only level 5. Uh, go ahead and just get this ball for me, plusle. Don't make me waste more than one Pokeball on you. I hate this game. <sighs> Let's just throw this Great Ball. Because why not? There we go. So, we might put Plusle on the team for the grinding montage next episode, because we're definitely going to need one. Um, and I might clear out the trainers on the beach by Slateport for that grinding montage, just because trainers give more, uh, give more experience. Let's go ahead and name this guy. He will be Paz, because he is a piece of garbage. <laughs> and because plusle, positive... I can't enter that word? What? Okay, I, I guess we'll do that. Why is pause not allowed? Interesting. Okay. Let's go talk to Steven and end this episode. And start fresh on Wednesday. <laughs> All right, so all these guys should be gone. Mm-hmm. So, in the ancient world, their primal forms once held that much power. The super ancient Pokemon, what terrible strength. But this appearance here, it seems somehow different from Mega Evolution. Hmm, it seems my question will not be answered today. Hmm. You are... Ah, I see. It's a pleasure, Super Insane. My apologies, my name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Today, my journey brought me here. But what about you? Oh, a letter for me? Why, thank you. It must have been some trouble to track me down. I suppose I must repay you in some way. Let me see. 
I'll give you this TM. Please accept it. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. If you don't mind me asking, do you feel anything in particular when you look up at this wall? A primal world lost thousands of years in the past. A legendary Pokemon of tremendous power became humanity's greatest threat. The terror aroused by that power is clear to see in this ancient artwork. Yes, but not all power is terrible. Your Pokemon are clearly quite capable as well. Looking at you all together, I think that you have what it takes to become a Pokemon League champion. As long as you keep training, that is. Well, that's the plan, but who knows. Good luck to you. I must be going now. Alright, well, there you guys have it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely didn't with all of the uh, struggling that we did there in the gym. But as always, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.